And the next campaign we have, also launching on the 28th, is Nightmare Cathedral. And this plays one to four players and takes about 60 minutes to play. And this looks like a really interesting competitive area control game that has a lot of unique ideas and things that I think will make it a little bit different than a lot of other area control games that we've seen in the past. And in this game, players are essentially performing actions on their turn in order to move around the map and gain victory points in various ways. But one thing that I think is going to make this a lot different is the way that the actions are implemented. Players are each going to have their own character and each character is going to have access to the same five core actions but each of those actions is going to be completely different for each of the characters so even though you all have the same names for each of your actions they're going to be a little bit different depending on the character that you're playing as but then also these actions can be upgraded which is going to make them even more different from each other and players are going to be starting the game with one of these randomly upgraded at the start of the game then they'll be able to further upgrade them as the game goes on there's also something else really cool about how the actions are implemented in this game and it's also something I haven't really seen before and that's that it uses this little action track and to perform the action you're going to be putting your character out on one of these spaces in that action track and when you're not taking an action your character will get pushed off into one of these empty spaces that is adjacent to the action track and the reason that's important is because when a player plays an action that's adjacent to you or not adjacent to you that's going to give you access to a secondary action or multiple secondary actions where you'll be able to get a small bonus turn every time another player performs their main action. I think that's going to add a really interesting dynamic when you choose the action that you pick because you know the other players might benefit from it and you might want to limit that or you might want to put yourself somewhere where you think you'll benefit on the other players actions in the future. But players will be doing this essentially to move around the board, develop different areas of the map to gain a presence there, fortify that presence, summon different creatures, and perform different rituals to perform some special abilities. Players will be starting the game holding different locations because these are snake drafted at the start of the game until each player has presence at two different locations. And then all the remaining locations are filled up with a sort of neutral player with some neutral characters that players can engage with throughout the game. And the game actually plays over two different stages. Both of those, you're gonna be taking turns performing different actions. But in the first stage, there is this special track at the top here that have all these little components that you can see. And these little components are actually the building blocks of the cathedral that will get built at the center of the board and each turn one of these is going to be taken from that track and put into the center board further building up that cathedral. The game continues until that cathedral is fully built and that's going to kick off the second half of the game where some really powerful nightmare creatures are going to get added to the board causing havoc wherever they go but they can also be manipulated and controlled by the players to use them to their advantage which adds a really interesting dynamic to the game. And players are going to be doing all this to earn victory points by completing different objective cards, building fortresses on the map, as well as progressing their ritual marker across the ritual track, which will also earn them special abilities throughout the game. And you're also going to be engaging in combat, earning victory points by devouring units, and also upgrading your action cards. And the player with the most victory points at the end of the game wins the game. And if this one does sound interesting to you, you'll definitely want to follow along with it because you'll get an early bird freebie at the start of the campaign, which is a really cute and fluffy nightmare cat added to the game along with its miniature.